What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. Hope your Saturday is going well. Mine's going to go pretty good, I hope, because I am recording this in the future. Um, so, owe you a doctor's follow-up visit, or actually our first visit. Um, did the blood work. As you can see, there's a little bruise right there. Um, basically what it boiled down to is definitely looking at diabetes for sure they put me on two different diabetic medicines uh, metformin's one of them I forgot what the other one is but it uh, you know I'll read about it more later and well I was also a winner of high blood pressure now as I was telling her normally my blood pressure runs around 110 120 usually the bottom number is usually around 70 so the fact that it's running 150 over 100 leads her to believe that the diabetes is causing the blood pressure so thinking or their thinking is we get the diabetes under control blood pressure will follow hopefully that's the way it works out so what does that mean for Minton Outdoors just gonna start eating better and uh, we're still gonna do what we do once I get my strength back once I get everything rolling again we'll get back out there uh, diabetes is not gonna slow me down shouldn't slow anybody down I mean I, sh I shouldn't say that I don't know I've only lived with it that I know of for a day <laughs> day and a half um, not gonna lie I was kind of nervous going in but you know, I was afraid something else would come up, um, but it didn't uh, for now. We're still waiting on blood work so they can pinpoint everything. But for right now, we do know I'm diabetic, uh, part of me type 2. Um, blood pressure, like I said, it's a little high, but I think, I think we'll get it calmed down. And once the medicine's doing its stuff... I should start coming back around and feeling better and um, so yeah that that that's it uh, the doctor felt like that I could probably get mine under control the fact that I've lost a bunch of weight um, and not trying is because of the diabetes and she said I'll probably lose more which I'm, I'm okay with that so there is your medical update for today for now once I know more if there's any major changes I will let you know but for right now mid 10 outdoors is going to continue on doing its thing and we're going to continue on when it cools off back to camping and hopefully hiking um, like I said I get my strength back though uh, Sunday I'll give you an instance of strength my right knee has been kind of weak shall we say Sunday I was we had pruned the bushes out front. I was walking around with the blower and blowing things off and you know doing the final cleanup. As I started up on the porch, the right knee gave out because I went with it first instead of the left. And I knew in my head, um, once I stepped up my right foot, that was a mistake. And it was because I went down, went straight down to the ground. The knee just buckled and kept going. Um, but I was able to spin around the porch, stand right up and fine so that's all part of it it's all part of the diabetes um, it, it's it is what it is guys and I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get myself back where I need to be it's all I can do I got too much too much going on <laughs> got too much to do um, as you see I'm going through some old pictures it's kind of interesting my last camping trip was to Fall Creek Falls this is Fall Creek Falls in a picture from 1983. Isn't that cool? 19- look how big it was flowing too. So that was a rainy time of the year so that's about right. That's about right. That's about how it would be flowing. And it's kind of funny in this same picture if you can see it that chandelier is actually in Cumberland Caverns. Um, it's a big cave here. Uh, I was trying to look and see what else I had. 
Wow, I just realized what... Huh. I know this is with Boy Scouts. We must have done a... Um... Huh. Must have done a... Like a Cumberland Plateau type camping trip that weekend and hit Cumberland Caverns and then went to Fall Creek Falls. So anyway, found some cool stuff. Um, let's see if this is the one. No. But I even found a couple of them from Washington, D.C. when we went to the National Jamboree in 1985. So anyways, guys, that's it for now. Um, don't worry, mid not like going anywhere, so keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep liking, all that good stuff. We just got a little health bump in the road we're going to take care of our health and we're going to continue doing our thing so with all that said i appreciate all the well wishes and stuff in the last video for this and uh continued support awesome um I, I can't begin to thank all the channels that are that follow me and comment um weekly and every video and i appreciate your support so guys, with that said, as we always say here, be prepared.